Welcome to Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. I'm Dave Palumbo, and today is Monday, November 7th, 2016. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. Temperatures might be starting to dip as we work our way into November, but that doesn't mean there wasn't plenty of red hot action going on down here in sunny South Florida this past weekend at the IFBB Victory Pro where for the sixth time this season, we heard the name Darren Charles announced as the winner in the Classic Physique Division. In the figure division, we saw a jaw-dropping performance from Andrea Calhoun, who still seems to be riding the wave from her ninth place Olympia finish. Over in Bikini, the spectacular season continues for rookie standout Maria Kunkalves, as she secured her first official pro victory, while in the Masters Bikini third year pro Joni Lynn Ortiz was flat out dominant as she cruised to a decisive victory. For all the results and contest pictures, check out rxmuscle.com. Out on the left coast, we also had some intense competition in the mix at the Sacramento Pro as the scramble to secure a few early Olympia bids for 2017 heats up. In the Bikini Division second year pro, Lauren Eric rebounded from a tough Olympia outing with her best look ever to score a huge late season win. In the Masters Bikini, we saw another standout performance from the magnificent Iveth Carrion, who seems to keep getting better as the year rolls along. In the Men's Physique Division, the best version of Jake Alvarez we've seen came in and cleaned house to claim his first win of the season and closing out the evening's events with a slam dunk win in the Masters Men's Physique was rookie pro David Autumn, who managed to snatch a victory in what was just his third professional outing. Down in Culver City, California, we had a good old fashioned slugfest in the Women's Physique Division, as some of the best in the business took the stage to square off in this year's Ultimate Warrior Pro. And after the dust finally settled on a day of intense action, it was none other than Kendria Judd Adams who found herself as the last woman standing for the second time this season. Finishing runner-up was a spectacular Jacqueline Abrams who edged out a solid performance from third place finisher Ladrissa Bonneville. Finishing in fourth was third year pro Jennifer Jock Kahn and rounding out the top five was California native Tanya Hooker who delivered what was probably her best overall look of the season. If you happen to be a bodybuilding fan in the tri-state area who made their way out to this past weekend's NPC Eastern USA Championships, then I'm sure you're probably still grinning ear to ear after getting a chance to see Kai Green take the stage as the evening's featured guest poser. One of the more entertaining posers in the sport took the stage in front of a packed house and dazzled the crowd in typical Kai Green fashion looking every bit of a solid 300 plus pounds in the process. Despite being one of the busiest men in bodybuilding these days, Kai still doesn't look like he's missed a beat, which will certainly add some fuel to the fire in the rumor mill over the coming months. A 100% Kai Green is still one of the top five bodybuilders on the planet, so whenever he decides to bring his many talents back to the stage, you can guarantee that you're going to hear it here first. Less than two weeks removed from rocking the house with a solid 11th place finish at the Ferrigno Legacy Classic, the one and only Pedro Barone isn't wasting any time getting back to work. Over the weekend, some new photos surfaced of a gigantic looking Barone who seems to be taking full advantage of his post-contest rebound and packing on new muscle by the pound. Barone is a true blue collar bodybuilder if I've ever seen one and that sort of old school throwback work ethic he brings to the table is refreshing in today's day and age. This guy never shows up and gives anything less than 110% and I have no doubt whenever he decides to throw his hat back into the ring we're going to get another signature lights out Pedro Barone performance. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. Brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. Check out IronMagLabs.com today. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions. And make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.